In this example, we have been given a DNA sequence and we want to transcribe and translate this sequence into a protein sequence. So we could transcribe this into an RNA sequence and then we could uh, transcribe Late it into a protein sequence with this codon table, but we can also directly do this from this uh, DNA sequence and the codon table. So how are we going to do this? So uh, I've written out the DNA sequence here at the bottom again, and we know that the codons actually uh, always come in threes. So we would, we could break down our DNA samples into codons. So we've got ATG, CTA, AGG, GCG, GGT, we've got TAA, CTG, TCT. So it works out quite nicely. It is divided by three our sequence quite nicely. Now we need to find out what does the ATG codon that we've got here, what does it actually stand for? And for that we can use this table the, or, or this wheel here. So the first position is always the inside, the second is the, is the middle ring and the third position is the outer ring. So we've got an A here in the first position, a T in the second position here, and a G here in the third position. And that gives us the amino acid methionine. So let's write this down. That gives us an M. Now we've got C for the next codon. In the first position, we've got a C. The next position is a T, so that's the middle ring, C, T, and we've got an A in the third position, C, T, A, and that gives us a leucine amino acid in this position. We've got A, G, G, so A, first position, G, second position, and a G, in the third position and that gives us the amino acid arginine which is abbreviated with an R. We've got GCG, let's see, G in the first position, C in the second position and G, GCG in the third position which gives an alanine residue. So we've got an alanine residue. We've got GGT, so G in the first, G in the second, and a T uh, in the third position, and that gives us the amino acid glycine, which is abbreviated with a G. Uh, we've got the sequence TAA, so we've got a T in the first position, A in the middle, and we've got an A in the third position. Ah, this is a stop codon. This indicates to the ribosome that there is no further amino acid to put, put in, and it is very often just simply abbreviated with an asterisk, indicating that the protein, or in this case the peptide, will end here. So we don't really need to worry about these other uh, amino acids because they will not be added to the protein since it has a stop codon in here. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.